Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to be finding some secret pirate treasure. Really excited about this, and I've gotten quite a few pictures and stuff like that from various people across Twitter and Discord regarding these particular secret pirate treasures. So I'm really excited to check that out with you all. We're also going to be gathering up some of the pirate unique items and showcasing where exactly those are. So if you haven't gotten them already, make sure to stay tuned for that. But I hope you all enjoy the episode. Now, the first pirate treasure, we need to go to Cumberland Forest. Oh. We got company. Sorry, buddy. I mean, I mean, we're just going to save him, I guess, real quick. I wanted to kind of listen to that conversation. Oh, GG. <laughs> At least we saved him. Good God. I kind of want to just torture him and put him on the fire. You. You get to die on the fire. Yeah. Interrupting my pirate treasure hunt. How dare you. How dare you, sir. Who do you think you are? Stupid Lemoyne raiders. They can, think they can just do whatever they want? All right. So we're going to drop this guy on the fire. And we're going to free the other dude. But he's going to... He gets to watch his captors burn first. There we go. Oh, I feel much better now. Get on the fire, Listen, fool! Help me! Get on the fire. Good boy. Are you not burning? Okay. All right. This is, he's like smoldering. You want to be free, home skillet? You can be free. Jeez, quit complaining for somebody who just got his life saved by somebody. He sure does complain a lot. Do I have a fire bottle? have no idea how thankful I am. Damn right, you thankful. I needed that honor. Run along. I know. You... I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Oh, nice. Sir, they're yours. Well, aren't you a gentleman? You Do not walk over oh, the fire. No. Get out of the way. Oh. I have burning to do. Oh, he did catch on fire that time. Nice. There we go. He just had to smolder for a little while. Very good. Okay, so I know there's a lockbox around here with some fat loots. Let's see, where is it? This isn't what we came for, but this is apparently what we're we're checking out right now. Eh, screw it. I know there's not really much of anything on there. Okay, so anyways, for the first pirate treasure, we need to Come go on. to Cumberland Forest. Yeah. And God only knows how many times I've been in and around Cumberland Forest. Oh my God, my horse just wants to take on all the trees today. And somehow I've managed to not find this ever. I have no idea how. So uh, Cumberland Forest, there we go. So we need to go around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but I know if I put a waypoint right around here, we'll be able to find it. Uh, so once I do find it, I'll make sure to give you guys the exact location, but I'm pretty sure that spot on the map is going to be really close. Ah, there we go. So it's the only dead tree on top of the cliff face just outside of Cumberland Forest. Now, I did actually drop that marker like right where we needed to be. Uh, so if you drop a marker right there, you will be able to find it. It's going to be in the top of this cliff face here, um, which is just east of Valentine and northwest of Emerald Ranch. And you're going to be able to tell where it is when you see this a dead tree. Now at the base of this dead tree, we got ourselves a handy dandy pirate treasure and two dead pirates. Now, we don't exactly know 100% that these are pirates, but they're doing very pirate-esque things. They're burying their treasure, and this guy in particular is the reason why I think he's a pirate. He's got his pants. There, nobody else in this game has pants like this. Also, also, okay, no, okay. I thought that was like a peg leg for a second, but no, that's just like a foot under the mud. Okay, that was, that looked weird, but you know, pirates, oh, don't step on them, Jesus. Pirates wear their pants, like with the pants bunched up at the knees, you know? It's kind of just got that pirate feel to him. If I were to poke him, I'd probably, you know, get some kind of pirate aura out of it. Uh, unfortunately, these guys don't have any letters or anything, which, you know, I am, like, Jones it for some letters. So many cool things to do with letters in this game, and I love all those little details. The shovel... I wish you could, like, pick up the shovels and pimp slap people with them. Anyways, the treasure. That's what we're here for. Now, we're going to be checking out another treasure, too. So, we've got three jewelry bags 
and two uh, billfolds. So let's grab each of these. What we got in the first one? $20 in the first one. Small jewelry bag, which I think is worth $25. Another billfold, 20 bucks. Small jewelry bag. And a large, nice. So that's a $50 bag. So what is that? So we got uh, $140 from that. That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. That's a pretty good deal. All right. So first pirate treasure down. Now we're going to go grab the two items that are pirate related. And then we're going to get the final yeah. pirate treasure, which I had no idea existed. Which, it's pretty cool. There's just so many little things in this game that it takes this long, like playing nonstop since release to find every little detail in this game. There's probably not going to be another game like this for a very long time. Now, where we're going right now is if you haven't gotten the pirate sword, you can get the broken pirate sword just southwest of St. Denis at this little island right there. That's exactly where we're going. Now, just west outside of St. Denis, you're going to find this little island just chock full of every single alligator you could possibly dream of. And also on this island, you're going to see a very small dinghy. And in this dinghy, you're going to find the broken pirate sword right next to this little dead pirate right there. Now, for those of you that haven't gotten it before or haven't seen it, I like that it says broken pirate sword, but yet still shows a full-on cutlass there. Or I don't know if that's exactly what you would call it, but um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There it is. It's nice. I like it. And I really wanted this pirate sword mainly because I really... I wish I could just hit a fish with it. I really want to get, like, maximum bounty in a town only using the pirate sword. I think it would be freaking awesome it'd be ridiculously awesome so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below and maybe one of these days either during a stream or for a video we'll just take down an entire town only using the pirate sword and get maximum bounty it'll be freaking amaze balls please jump up without falling thank you now the next bit if we can open up our handy dandy map we need to go just across the way from where you set up camp in chapter three to this island right here and if you go to this cove you're gonna find a pirate ship and inside of that little ship that's crashed here on the beach you're gonna be able to find the pirate hat so very very simple just head over there and you'll be able to get the pirate hat very quickly now the final pirate treasure what everybody is hoping for and i'm kind of curious to know if there's even more pirate treasures hidden in and amongst red dead redemption 2 now this spot right here just east of pleasance at this little bridge which i've been over 10 billion million trillion times we've got a freaking pirate under here man shit is crazy so right under here we got a gator and a pirate this is giving me some like peter pan vibes down here <laughs> did he steal his hook does he have a hook now this is definitely a pirate he's got a peg leg now i think what happened here was the guy got attacked by the, the gator and then proceeded to murderize the gator probably with the shovel or gun i don't think there's a gun around anywhere he pimp slapped the gator with the shovel and then they both ended up dying right next to each other it's pretty sad but i think that's what happened we do have a treasure right here. He was trying to bury it under this bridge, and lo and behold, he did not survive. I can't, why is there so many pirates around here? That's the real question. We're going to have a pirate DLC. Confirmed. Confirmed. I have no idea what's going on in my life. Anyways, what's inside of this here chest? We got a coin sack. How much is that worth? Eleven seventy-three. And then a cup of coins. This is the world's worst pirate. You didn't even have, you had like just under $40 and well, quite under $40. And we got some bitters. That probably puts us right around $40 worth in this chest. I mean, $140 in the first chest back in the day, that was a shitload of money. And then we got what? Just under $40 in here. It's not bad. I don't know if it's burying it in the bridge and dying to a gator like lots of money, but not bad at all. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey there. 
I think there's probably some more hidden pirate stuff in and amongst this amazing world, and we just need to find it. We need to check all the bridges, all the little islands. We need to find more pirates. Hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did find yourselves enjoying it, feel free to follow that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 1, 2, whatever Red Dead Redemption comes in the future, and Grand Theft Auto 5, pretty much any other game releasing in 2019. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.